during my incarceration, every bit of my power was gone. I dreamt about voting <laughs> because that always made me feel powerful and it made me feel like I could control my destiny. I am a, a woman, a mother, a sister, a friend who supports my community and works hard for my community. I should have access to that ballot. I felt powerless because I knew that one vote is what could tip the scale in many aspects. But because of my absence by incarceration, I wasn't available to help tip the scales in the way that I thought would be best for my family and friends. How do you take away the right to vote from someone who's made a mistake? They're still a citizen. They're still gonna live in the community. They're still gonna be responsible for paying taxes and doing everything else that everybody else has to do. Why shouldn't they have the right to vote? If one understands the history of prisons, how they came into being, race played an overwhelming impact on the makeup of prisons. We try to constantly look at Maryland as this progressive state, but when you look at the criminal justice system uh, and you look at the impacts of uh, some of these laws on black communities. It's not a secret that Maryland uh, proportionally jails more uh, black and brown men than any other state in our country, uh, which is really shocking. 30% of Maryland's population is black. Despite that, 70% of those who are currently incarcerated or serving jail time are black. That is a gross disparity. That is one of the most effective methods of preventing black people from voting that has ever been used in American history. I should be determining my future through, through my vote.